Welcome back to more Allerton Golf Club. This is the par 5 18th, and earlier, Johnny e. Morgan took a closer look at what's in store for the pros. Here we are, final destination, 18th hole, elevated tee box. I'm all the way down here. I've hit it about 320 yards off the tee. With the elevation, obviously, all counts, it's come a long way. Now I'm left with an absolute cracking approach shot to this par five. Now, if I take it on, I got in a region of about 230, 240 into this green. Now, water short, bunker just over the water, massive green, that's all slopey, and about 20 feet over the green is out of bounds. Now, layup zone, if you want to, it's going to leave yourself about 130 yards in, you know, so if you're going to take it on, just make sure you do it properly, and like you say, who dares wins. Now, these guys are coming down here, wanting their 10 grand, wanting to get on the challenge tour, and they got to pull it out of the bag. Now I'm going to try one, balls below my stance, pins on the right, you know it's going to fade, middle of the green and let it drift. Let's see what i got. Come on. Cut baby, cut. Have you got the legs? Have you got the legs? Uh, no he hasn't. Hmm. Well, I've come up short, I'm in the bunker, but I prefer to be in a position like this than 120, 130 yards out into a green like this. This green is very big, very slopey. As you can see, pin is on the right-hand side today and a big dip at the back of the green. Now, I'm gonna play this baby for you. You know, 20, 25 yards to go, uphill, bit of a lip, but as you do in bunker play, you open your stance, you counteract with the club face being open, you know, onto your target and keep it shallow. I tell you what, anything just short of this pin would be lovely. And I tell you, what, I haven't played a bad one. That would have probably have come up about 10, 15 feet short of the pin. Uphill, left to right, chance for a birdie. Yeah, not bad. I take it uh, Daniel Gavins would take getting a birdie pad at this hole. Important to get the drive away first, though. The way he's playing, I think he can do a damn sight better than that. Said 10, 15 feet, but that was more like 25. And steady, steady on. Well, I mean, his backswing surely is going to be impeded there. He's going to have to take his medicine there. There's no going for the green in two. No. Nope. And stop on the 16th tee. Where's this one heading as well? This is down the right as well. Ooh. Well, there's a bunker there. Both our leaders in a spot of bother. Right, my approach. He's got to jam this out. Yeah, just have to take his medicine, as you said. Then right there, Richard. Had to do it. Now then, go on, him. Stop in the rough. And pound it out with a wedge. Coming in really high here. My goodness, lost it in the clouds. Well, it's so tantalisingly poised, isn't it? O'Neill also getting close to the trees here at 16. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, O'Neill's just kind of let it slip, and it's so hard to get it back. It really is when it feels like it's going away from you. Played a good shot there, though, hasn't he? I mean, he had to keep that low because of the trees, and at least he's given himself a birdie chance. So you don't know Gavin's. I know he's three ahead at the moment of O'Neill, and obviously one ahead of Henstock, but... Maybe not going to make the most of this 18th hole. Here we go. He's got a strong wedge in his hand. Maybe a nine iron. Looks well back. Coming in hot, though. Whoa. Steady. Oof. I tell you what, not a hard chip. He's left himself a little flopper onto the edge and let it run out. McGee at 17 now. McGee has been playing some great golf in the closing holes. Another chance. another one. Yeah, another chance for him there. He's had top tens in the three of his last four tournaments on the Euro Pro, so he's ending the season really well. Now, Hemstock is for birdie. Has he? Oh, whoa. Nice pot on the last. I'm sure he can knock that one in as well. Well, you don't know. I mean, up and down maybe for the win, 12 under. Would that be good enough? I don't know. I think he's going to have to hold it. I think uh, Hemstock's got the bit between his teeth. Good shot, though. But great shot. I mean, we've had playoffs in, what, four of the last six Euro Pro Tour events, and right now you'd be saying maybe favourite for five and seven. Oh, definitely. It's a great chip by Gavin's under the pressure, all his friends watching. 
unfortunately for O'Neill, still not happening. Now, can he pop it in? Well, what an excellent final round that is. A 64. Best of the day so far. Probably won't be beaten. No. Is it enough, though? 12 under. Leads by one right now. What a scorecard, Richard. What a scorecard. I mean, and I say he shot 63 when he won, you know, Dale Hill a few weeks back. So, yeah, Unbelievable round of golf. Well, nice it's, cle putts. it's clear now, isn't it? I mean, him stop might not be aware of it just yet, but... He needs to make at least a birdie in the closing couple of holes to force a playoff. Yeah, and here's Wiggy again. Put it. Yeah, good putt. Now, the good thing is about Henslow, he knows what he needs to do. And that is plain and simple. He knows he needs a birdie. And that pretty makes your mind up what you're going to do on the hole. And here comes our older merit leader, Wolgar. What's he got in store for us? A great goal shot. Bang on the yardage required. Out of rough, not easy to do. Great shot. Perfect drive for Hemstock at 17. If you were going to favour him getting a birdie, it would be probably at 18, but if he can finish birdie birdie, really could take it. Not being the day that uh, Stiggy Hodgson would have wanted. Just the one birdie so far today. Four drop shots. Oh, he's old and lovely putt to finish. And I tell you what, he'd be happy with that. I mean, bittersweet taste in his mouth, unfortunately. But you feel like a win's coming for Stiggy. He can't keep being up there every week and not chalk one off eventually. Well, he's a good player. He's a, you know, adrenaline junkie. Absolutely loves it. You know, loves being in the mix. Yeah, the win is uh, on the doors. But he's guaranteed his Challenge Tour card, George Walker. Another excellent week from him. Up and down round, but more birdies than bogeys in the end. Yeah, great, strong tournament for George, even though he's not, we haven't seen him up there a lot this week, but... Uh, he might lose his number one position, depends what happens here. Hemstock with a chance to tie up Daniel Gavins, who's second on that order of merit. Yeah, we know what this green is like. Has he got it? Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh. Oh. It looked like it had enough. So now we know. A birdie at the last, playoff. Yeah. Eagle, he wins it. Part, and it's Gavin's championship. Well, this is going to be great to see. I can't wait to see what he does. Because Eagle's our possibility. Greg Payne here has hit the dance floor in two. I'll tell you what, he's given that a rip. He got the pace right. Go on. Oh, great putt from distance there. And great another, putt from distance. Another consistent week for him. Uh, it comes down to this drive, and it's all about position A off the tee. You've got to give a good old clout if he's going to get there in two. Oh, he likes it. Straight down for the tee. And there's a little downslope on the left-hand side. If he catches it, there it is. Absolutely going to run like a Cheshire cat. Did I say that right, Richard? Cheshire Cat, is that allowed? Well, I think Cheshire Cats run, don't they? Yeah. But I don't think around these parts they would like it well, too no, much. That's, They'd uh, like a Yorkshire Cat. A they? Yorkshire Cat, I'll rephrase, yes. Well, what a terrific end to the round from Rory McGee. Wasn't looking pretty after 10, but in the end he shoots a level pass score. Yeah, what a topsy-turvy day for Mr McGee there. But level par. He'd have definitely taken that after these first nine holes. A great two putt, lovely birdie to finish. Also around in the level uh, part today. Cool. Two interesting rounds of golf there in that group. A little unlucky, I thought, here, Hemstock. He's going to pop at it. it. One roll away from being on the fairway. But he's probably got a great lie. It looked like it was sat up so nicely. Look at the height he's got on that ball. Come on, that's got to go. Oh, what a shot. Sit down a little bit. Oh, again, a little unlucky. Oh. But, but, I mean, that's not a difficult up and down, is it? I mean, the, the situation's going to make it difficult, but under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be. No, it's not. And I tell you what, well, come on. Stiff this one for us, Mr. Neil. Well, right now, he's, in, he's inside that top five, which is... 
you know, the second goal of the week, apart from winning, to be in the top five, to make the Tour Championship, stay there. Yeah, that's OK. That's OK, but I do think, I mean, there are two fantastic shots from Hemstock there to get it all the way back. And now this is for it, obviously. Well, chip in to win it. I tell you what, I see him running around the green if this goes in. Pace run out, run out, it's not going in, but where is it going? Good touch, mate. Yeah. Not guaranteed, but cool. you just fancy him to make it. It's the length you want for a birdie, that's for sure. Now, it, Armitage is in at nine under par, so two putts to be guaranteed to be tied for third. Yeah, big money changes, and I tell you what, that's a terrible putt. Sorry, Mr. O'Neill. Just adrenaline got the better of you there. Come on, nice. hold this putt. Yeah, start of the day, three shots in the lead. Well yes. done. Well, well done. Well, that'll be off the Princess. Not the day he was hoping for. I mean, no birdies at all on the back nine, but it's still been a very good week for him. He'll Ten. remember his 25th birthday, oh, OK? Oh, yeah. Ten straight pars, but this is it. Yeah, this to force a playoff with Daniel Gavins. Yes. Oh, here we go. Straight into another perp. What a solid round of golf. Straight five under par. Very, very good indeed from start to finish. So extra holes required once again on the PGA Euro Pro Tour. Daniel Gavins and Billy Hemstock after 54 holes. Tied at 12 under par. Three shots clear at the rest. It's a playoff at the Clipper Logistics Championship. So here we go. Gavin's to go first. We both know these guys have got the length to get there in two, but Gavin's looks like he's done it again. Yeah, he leaked it right, didn't he, at the 54th hole. Oh. Identical. Now it's in the lap of the gods. It's even further right this oh, time. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's a vantage hemstock, isn't it? Yeah, this short, controlled swing will do the trick here. Very would, compact. Sorry, John. I mean as we watch Hemstock's tee shot here. How much does it play into the mind of Gavins? He was in a, a playoff, of course, in the last tournament, the Scottish Masters. He lost that one, and now here he is again in a playoff. <laughs> he's just probably That's thinking... That's an identical position as well. I know, he's probably just thinking, why me? You know, me again. But now, as we can see now, there's going to be so much rubble in between him and the green. I mean, like you said earlier, is he's just got to take his medicine and just put it out sideways. Well, he's got to get it back onto the fairway. Well, he's going above some trees there. He's got the power to get it out. Look at the size of that divot he's just taken. Just oh, it done jam very it out well. There. Done very well. Very well indeed. But Good. advantage. Yeah, he knows Henstock can get there in two. Yeah, he's obviously got a good lie again. Look at this. It's out with the hybrid. And I tell you what, he's seen that ball go off, and that is high. That's coming in nicely. Has he done it again? And he's done even better. He's held the green this time. What a great shot. Well, from where he is in two, he's looking very good to make four, which means Gavin's really has to get up and down here. First of all, he's got to at least put it within, like, ten feet. Make Hemslop think about it. Spin a little bit. That's a great shot. Tell you what, that would have looked good in the air. That was right over the stick. Well, what an opportunity here, and a, a lovely round of applause for the players. The local boy, of course, Daniel Gavins, with most of the support, but Hemstock, you've got to give him every credit. Made birdie here at 18 in regulation play to force the playoff, and then he's hit two brilliant strokes again. Oh, can't fault it. Here we go. Pace putt. Get close. <laughs> That'd have gone in, that would have wrapped it all up there and then. Ooh, I tell you what, there's a bit of work left in that one. But Gavin has to make his to. But this is typical match play situation right now. This is exactly what it comes down to. Oh, he's just ripped it straight through it. He knew it straight away, up and out. Well, that means that Billy Hemstock knows he's going to have a putt 
to win the Clipper Logistics Championship here. Just a par five for Daniel Gavins. And the stage is set, I think. Yeah, here we I go. Think Gavins knows it's going to be the Scotland all over again here. Brilliant. Brilliant from Billy. And stops your winner. His first Euro Pro Tour victory. He was made to work for it. It was a real ding dong battle all day long at the top. Let's catch up with Tony. Well, I'm here with Daniel Gavins, who has, of course, come second. Daniel, well played today, equaling the course record. You must have slightly mixed emotions at the moment. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling great about my game. You know, I went, you know, into the last round five shots behind the lead and just tried to attack every pin. I did that pretty well. Um, just struggled in the playoff again, but it's, it's, how it got, it's how golf goes, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, you had great support today, didn't you? In yeah. your in your home county, and they really enjoyed watching you. A big crowd all the way around. Yeah. It, well, I live 30 minutes away, so so you know having home support, it's it's amazing. It can be a bit more nerve-wracking, but I managed to cope with it well. Well, the consolation for Daniel Gavins is that second place finish has at least guaranteed his Challenge Tour car for next season, along with George Walgar. Mark Lasky just outside that top five, and Billy Henstock's win takes him inside the top ten. Marcus Armitage, with another good week, stays at eight. Despite missing the cut, Jan Kaski finishes 13 pounds and five pence above 61st place. Some of the rookies have gone well, haven't they, this season? Sebi Garcia, Stiggy Hodgson, and Greg Payne, Nick McCarthy, the most consistent player on tour this season without winning. But at Moore Allerton, it's all been about Billy Henstock, the winner at the Clipper Logistics Championship. Billy, well done. A very popular winner, and you beat a Yorkshireman in the playoffs, so um, good cheer there. Congratulations on your round today. Bogey free, a terrific performance. Thank you very much. It's um, It's been been a tough few weeks now. I've um, been struggling with my form a bit, but I kind of came here with no expectations, and it's just been a been a fantastic week and a um, great way to finish. Tell us why it's been tough and how you've struggled over the last few weeks. I think I've I played a lot. I played like 13 out of maybe 15 weeks, and traveling kind of um, all over the place. So I got a little stale at the end, and um, it just makes you kind of. Um, take a look at what you're doing and kind of reset the dial towards the end of the season and I did that well. So this must feel fantastic you've gone from 44th in the order of merit into the top 10 you've now got a really good chance to make the challenge tour. Uh, yes it's, uh, there's still another tournament left and I'm not really thinking about that it's just nice to be playing some good golf so hopefully I can continue doing that. Well, absolutely. You're in the Tour Championship now. You're in the top 10. We'll look forward to seeing you at Princess in a couple of weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Billy Hemstock. So all to play for at Princess in Kent for the lucky 60 players for the season finale, the 888poker.com PGA Euro Pro Tour Championship. But from John Morgan and myself, Richard Kaufman, goodbye for now. <laughs>